Hello students, welcome back to my guest classes. In this video, we will discuss about 12th chemistry, volume 2, unit 11, hydroxy derivatives and ethers. Book pack questions, short answer, question number 18, 19, 20. Let us move into the question part. See the 18th question. 0 0.44 gram of monohydric alcohol when added to methyl magnesium hydride in ether liberates at STP 112 centimeter cube of methane with the PCC. The same alcohol form a carbonyl compound that answers silver mirror test. Identify the compound. So what is that alcohol? Here the information gives 0 0.44 gram of monohydric alcohol when added to methyl magnesium iodide. So this is a reaction. So whenever the alcohol is treated with the Grignard reagent, for example, this alcohol, it is treated with the Grignard reagent, CS3MGI. What is the product you get? The alkane part of the Grignard reagent and the magnesium iodide and the alkoxy part. So here, one mole of methane and uh, one mole of the alcohol. From this information, we can find out what is the molecular weight. Clear? So from the molecular weight, you can find out the alcohol. Then this information, that is PCC, that is pridinium chlorochromate. It is an oxidizing agent. So what is the concept of oxidation? Whenever the alcohol is oxidized, you get the carbonyl compound. Finally, you get the acid. So this is a concept by oxidation. Here the primary alcohol gives aldehyde, you know very well. And the secondary alcohol on oxidation gives the compound ketone. Okay. So here the aldehyde or ketone is obtained when BCC is used. What is the product you get this carbon compound? Here the additional information that answers silver mirror test. The silver mirror test is the test for aldehyde. Okay. Silver mirror test is the test for aldehyde. So you get the product aldehyde. So if it is aldehyde, what is the starting product? It is alcohol, primary alcohol. Okay. So from that information, first you have to find out the molecular mass that is 0 0.44 gram of the alcohol gives 112 centimeter cube that is this much amount of methane. So what is the one mole of this alcohol? You can find out by the way the mass of alcohol is equal to molecular mass of the alcohol is equal to 112 gram of methane is obtained from 0 0.44 gram therefore one mole that is 22,400 centimeter cube by cancelling you get 200 into 0 0.44 that is 88 gram okay so molecular mass of alcohol is uh, 88 gram so your alcohol may be um, with carbon number 4 C4 H10 4. so approximately it will be uh, 4 into 12, 48 plus 10, hydrogen for hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen molecular mass that is 16. So you get 74. Okay. When 5 carbon is used, C5H12U, you get 5 into 12, it is 60 plus 72, that is plus 12 and oxygen oxygen 16 okay so it's 88 72 16 88 so the compound having this molecular formula that is c5h12o okay and what is the type of alcohol it is a primary alcohol we have found that it is oxidized by bcc to give the carbonyl compound which answers the silver test so it is a primary alcohol having this is the formula CH3, CH2, CH2, OH, 1 pentanol. 1 pentanol. So, this is our answer. Okay, clear? Next one, complete the following reactions. The first question, phenol is treated with benzyl chloride in the presence of alkali medium. You get A. A on nitration gives B. What is the major product? First, write the equation, phenol. When phenol is treated with benzoyl chloride, what is the name of this reaction? In alkali medium, it is nothing. It is short and Bowman reaction. That is benzoylation of phenol.
what's the product you get you get the phenyl benzoate this is the compound a the name of the compound is phenyl benzoate okay which are nitration nitration it is treated with nitric acid in presence of sulfuric acid as a catalyst what's the product we expect here the ester part is linked with the oxygen atom oxygen atom is the electron releasing group when the carbonyl group is attached to the phenyl group we get the meta product here the oxygen is attached so the major product uh, two product may be obtained one is the ortho and one is the para so here n note is attached in some cases para product is obtained here the question is which one is major so this is the major product what is the reason here the substitution of nitro group here the bulky phenyl group is present so that the para product is major product what is the name of the compound para nitro phenyl benzoate so this is your b so a is phenyl benzoate b is para nitro phenyl benzoate clear next one uh, this is the type of alcohol it is treated with the concentrated sulfuric acid so what is the reaction maybe uh, when alcohol is treated with the concentrated sulfuric acid this is an example of a dehydration reaction let me write the equation see the given compound is c6 h2 h3 sulfuric acid would have and this oh is removed you get the carbocation so this is a carbocation it is secondary or primary it is a secondary carbocation the carbon present in this place is a secondary it is connected to the two carbon atoms when it is shifted here you get again secondary when it is shifted you get the tertiary for example if the height positive ion is shifted towards the respect to carbon what do you get a stable carbocation is formed so that the hydrate shift takes place for any carbocation in order to attain the stability the sum of shift can be takes place when the hydrate is shifted you get ch5 ch plus carbocation here you get ch2 and it will be ch cs cs so it is a stable carbocation when h is shifted here you also get tertiary but it is more stable due to the resonance effect of the phenyl group so this is a carbocation now the elimination takes place the hydrogen atom is removed here the sets of rule is followed according to sets of rule more substituted alkene is the major product so you get the product like this c6 h5 ch double bond ch here ch ch3 ch3 clear so that here the h plus is left it is a catalyst so this is the product you got okay so major concentrated sulfuric acid this is a carbocation shifting takes place you get the product like this okay next one Question number twenty: Phenol is distilled with the zinc dust followed by Friedel Crafts reaction alkylation with propyl chloride to give a compound B. B on oxidation gives C. Identify A, B, and C. When phenol is distilled with uh, zinc dust, what do you get? This is the phenol. Zinc dust. You get the product benzene. And the zinc oxide. Okay. Followed by Friedel Crafts reaction. Friedel Crafts reaction is nothing. It is treated with alkyl halide, propyl chloride. So in the formula, it is CH3. It is propyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride. Okay. What do you get the product? B. Here 
with the aluminum chloride it forms a carbocation the carbocation formed by the type ch3 ch2 ch2 plus in order to attain the stability the it is a primary carbocation so the hydride is so ch3 ch plus ch3 hydride is here too so here positive charge secondary carbocation form this secondary carbocation is approaches the phenyl ring so this is your uh, main idea okay so this will approaches so that the product is nothing it is ch ch3 ch3 so it is isopropyl benzene and it is a very important product that is cumin it is a cumin so b is cumin okay b on oxidation gives c so it is an aromatic hydrocarbon so it is rustic to oxidation under rare condition or drastic condition it is oxidized by air not by the reagent because it is a less affinity towards oxidizing agent you get the product here the oxygen atom is inserted inserted here the oxygen atom is inserted how like this it is called cumin peroxide because the peroxide bond is present cumin peroxide so this is your compound c so this is a c cumin peroxide it is unstable compound it decomposes to give this goes as your ch3 c double bond o acetone and the phenol is left back okay so a is phenol and b is your cumin that is isopropyl benzene and cumin peroxide here we have to apply the concept the propyl chloride propyl carbocation is directly not attached so you can expect the product uh, propyl benzene so it is isopropyl benzene in, is, this is because of the stability factor okay students these are about this videos thank you for watching